okay guys so in this video we are going to see uh, the braking effect on a vehicle when only the front wheels are braked like uh, this FF that is front wheel reaction uh, front wheel frictional force this thing has some value but this FR is equals to zero this FR is equals to zero I mean there is no frictional resistance to the uh, rear wheels or the rear wheel the brakes is, brakes are not applied uh, to the rear wheels so with this condition first of all we have RA plus RB is equals to W cos theta that's because this reaction force on the front tire and this reaction force on the rear tire is balanced out by these this force W cos theta that is the normal component of the weight W and then we have W sin theta plus WG by uh, WG into alpha this one is the inertia force and this one is the parallel component of this weight W as you can see this is the parallel component of this W and along with that we have this uh, inertia force of the car and alpha is the uh, retardation uh, in many cases alpha uh, is also written as F that is F by G so here in this video I am taking it as alpha so this thing is equal to FF because FF is it is the only fix, only force that is resisting this force so that is that's why this whole summation is equals to FF now FF is equals to mu into R that is the mu is the uh, coefficient of friction between the tires and the road for the front wheels and RA is the reaction force as you can see so that's how I, we get our second equation now let us take moment about B so when we take the moment about B now first moment that tries to rotate the vehicle or tilt the vehicle in this way that is uh, clockwise in clockwise direction that is RA into B B is the wheelbase so we get RA into B as our first moment then you get this one that is W cos theta which try which also tries to rotate or tilt the vehicle in this in this way like as I'm showing in in the picture in this anti-clockwise direction that's why it's in minus and distance is x this is x this length so w cos theta into x like this then we have this force sorry this moment that is uh, this force multiplied with the height of the cg height of the cg so that also tries to um, rotate with respect to this point uh, b like this in this anti-clockwise manner so that's why it, it is given minus now this w sin theta plus w by g into alpha this thing is nothing but mu into ra from equation 2 so i've just put the value there and we get this equation then take uh, take this ra common and uh, send this over to the right hand side we get this and then we get ra that is equal that is equals to uh, R equals to Wx cos theta divided by B minus mu h. So that's how we get our first reaction force that is the front wheel reaction force. That is W cos Wx cos theta divided by B minus mu h. Now there is a similarity between the between the rear wheels break when the rear wheel brakes are applied, then in that case it was W R A was equals to W cos theta into 1 minus b plus mu h into x so here but here we have this because look the denominator is getting smaller but here it is bigger that's why the the front wheel has to take uh, has to take much more amount of force in compare uh, when compared to the rear wheels okay then we have then we have rb that is which says that w cos theta minus wx cos theta divided by b minus mu h now how did i got this i got this from equation one i've got ra and inst and i just put the value of ra here so you can easily get rb and just send this thing over to this this side right hand side you can get rb that's what I've did. Uh, I've done here. Rb is equal to W cos theta minus Wx cos theta divided by B minus mu h. Then simply take this W cos theta uh, common from both uh, from both the terms. You get one minus x by B minus mu h into W cos theta. 
so uh, there is a weird relation between the if you try to compare with the rear when the brakes are applied with rear wheels and when the brakes are applied on the front wheels i will show you that later in a combination chart then you can clearly manipulate things and you can you can remember the things way easier okay so now you've got rb if you have any doubt in any of these equations you can just pause the video and see the and see the uh, screen what uh, what the equation says you can understand even i will upload the whole uh, note on, in the description so go there and check it out so now it's time to get this uh, value for of alpha by g which is very important that is the uh, here both the, both are the accelerations but here it is it's not an acceleration but it is retardation and it is g is the gravity so now if we uh, and this equation I got this from equation 2 this is our equation 2 w sin theta plus w by g into alpha is equals to mu into ra now we have got ra so I will just put the value of ra here and then we can get the value of L alpha by g so I've done the same here I've just put the value of ra that is wh cos theta divided by b minus mu h and you get this so now you take the take w common from both these terms you get sin theta plus alpha by g which is equals to mu into w x w into x and cos theta and divided by d this thing and then just cancel this w both the side and then you get alpha by g and send this term over to the over to the right hand side you get this value that is mu x cos theta divided by b minus mu h minus sin theta now for both the rear and front wheels you get this minus sin theta so that's one thing common but for both the cases uh, you have this change in you can get this change in denominator that is uh, in the in the rear wheel case it was plus so it was so the denominator was larger hence the whole fraction is smaller that's why for rear wheel case you get the less value for alpha by g but in case of front wheels when the front brakes are applied you get this term larger and that's why you get alpha by g more than uh, more than that of the rear wheels okay okay guys so this is our final result that is the front wheel reaction force r a is w x cos theta divided by b minus mu h and r b is is just the subtraction of this r a from w cos theta and hence you get this 1 minus x divided by b minus mu h this term is very easy to remember just make sure you um, you would subtract this uh, this term that is x by b minus mu uh, b minus mu h from 1 and then you multiply w into cos theta with this with this uh, subtracted term okay so that's that's for the rear wheels that's for the rear wheels and for alpha by g and for alpha by g you get this term the only sine theta is subtracted and here instead of w well remember one thing that for alpha by g there will be no weight look in the whole whole equation there is no weight involved only frictional coefficient and all the and all the geometric properties of the of a vehicle is involved in alpha by g so that's that's our final result